This is my cowboy gun, baby. Check this out. This is a Henry Big Boy in 357. And I gotta tell you, it was very difficult to find this thing. I got this a couple years ago, and it seems like they're still really hard to find. Uh, you can find Henry's fairly easily, but to find a Big Boy in 357, my goodness, this thing was difficult to track down, but I'm happy it, I ended up getting it. I was considering this one and a couple other models, um, but I did like the all blacked out look. This actually came out before some of the new Ruger Marlins were coming out, which looked pretty sick too, but I kind of like the idea of having something in 357. It's a easier to find round, cheaper. Also guys, with this being chambered in 357, you can run 38 special through this as well. So that's definitely uh, a perk if you're looking to save a little money. And I picked up this sling um, to complete this classic look as well as this stock cover right here to put extra rounds in right here. Um, and I also wanted to go with the big boy model because of the loop. So there's a couple different options here. There's some that have a perfect oval loop this is kind of a O loop um, or a little bit bigger. And then they have another one that has a big notch that kind of comes down. Uh, I like this style the most. I also guys liked this lever style because I like the way it made the stock slash grip area kind of angle down a little more and make it a little more beefy compared to some of the uh, styles that come all the way straight back and I thought it looked a little bit better too. So it felt a little more when I'm going to, like the way your fingers grip it. I am i don't have the best angle here to grip it, but it felt a little bit more like a bolt action feel to it than the straight downward. And um, I put this little grip wrap or loop lap wrap on here as well. So uh, when you're running this thing a lot, a little bit better on your hands. And I think that actually, I can't remember. I found this on Amazon, I'm pretty sure, for around 10-ish dollars. But yeah, I really do enjoy this firearm after shooting thousands of rounds through it. Um, I can confirm that it is worth it. It is good. Uh, they make it also in 44 and I believe um, maybe both 3030 30 and um, 4570. I don't know about both actually in this particular model, but Henry's man, I was also looking at the Rossi, which had a M-lock um, handguard here. One of the Rossi models, I can't recall which one it was, or um, no, I'm sorry, not the Rossi, it was a Citadel, which I think is owned by Rossi. And um, that one was cheaper, I was like, able to find one, but uh, I picked one up, and I ran the action, and the action was not good, guys. It was very um, gritty, geary, uh, didn't feel good. Um, Henry is American-made, uh, very reputable company in the States. And let me show you guys this action real quick. Let me walk you through this here. So pretty smooth overall um, in some of the other brands that I was checking out that's kind of comparative to this, the action did not feel good, just didn't. Uh, let, me, let me do that one more time for you guys. So I'll do it slow. Okay, so yeah, very good. I'm very pleased with that. You can run it really quick. Um, the big boy models, or uh, at least this lineup here, also comes with tritium sights. So the back is tritium red, the front tritium green. Sights are freaking money. Um, at least with the big boy and 357, I can hit things out to 100 yards just with irons pretty easily. Um, but I think this is one of the 
one of the uh, best lever actions out there. I really do like the the new Marlin since Ruger acquired them. Um, but they're also much more expensive. The Dark Series looks pretty sweet. But there's not much I would change about this. Uh, I considered getting maybe a different grip here. So I was checking out some of the Midwest Industries stuff. And I don't know, I'm still open to it. It's just a little pricey. And I don't know if I want to go the full Space Cowboy route or keep it classic look here. Um, you know, there's an M lock slot here for M lock slot here for a light, and then down under here is Picatinny. So it's tough to like what you know for where I live and my needs. Um, I have AR 15s and other things, so this is. This is more of a fun thing for me, but depending on what state you're in, you can still set this up really solid for what you might be looking for and um, get super tactical with it. Uh, also, that setup is just a little expensive for my needs for this thing. Um, although the model I was looking at had ghost ring front and back sights, which would have been sweet. The sights are already good on it, but I do like me a good go sight. <laughs> uh, let me show you guys this trigger real quick. So let's go ahead and short, very short. One more time. Short and Yeah, very, very short. One more time. So it gets the trigger way back and not a lot of pressure. I would guess, what would I call that? Probably four and a half pounds, five pounds, something around there. These big boy models also have a threaded barrel at the end, which is very cool if you're looking at suppressor. Suppressor options, ooh, tongue twister. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure that you're looking at different uh, models for that because not all of them have that. So the Henry Big Boys have a side gate loader here. I think uh, most options from Henry nowadays have this side loader gate here. Double check before you make a final purchase, but this side loader is very awesome. It's pretty quick. It can be a little finicky when you're first starting to learn it. Um, and then also there's a tube, a tube down here that you can remove and load projectiles in here. So you unscrew this and then slide it out and fill her up, close it back in. But yeah, guys, super sweet setup. If you want to see more videos about this, give me a heads up in the comments and I'll get some uh, shots down range on this thing and let me know if you guys have a Henry what model you like I'm a fan these uh, these are great collector items that um, You could be had forever pass it down to family members stuff like that and uh, Yeah, guys Henry is a really really good option American made um, There's a lot more brands out there. These things popped off in some recent years for good reason um, if you're, uh, if this isn't your very first firearm and you're getting a third, fourth, fifth, uh, very, very fun. So yeah, guys, hope that was entertaining for you. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining the Dialed Sportsman channel. If you like videos like this, feel free to jump on board and subscribe. I have a lot more content coming like this down the road and throw us a like, support the 2A community over here. We all could use that. So yeah, thank you so much. Y'all take care.